Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry for being away for so long, but I should now be back to my normal schedule. In this video, I will show a full overview of my dashboard. You will also find the full code and theme file on the Gumroad link in the description. Don't worry, it's completely free to download and use. It's just the easiest way for me to upload stuff. Now just a warning, the code is everything but clean and easy to read, but I'll post the code for everyone that want to create something similar. If you want a more detailed look at any of the cards or sections, I suggest you also have a look at my other videos. All right, let's start. This is how my mobile dashboard looks when I open it. It's got both dark and light mode. I only use the dashboard from the phone, so I always design cards and layouts with that in mind. If I click the weather button in the top right corner, it opens a more detailed view of the weather. Here, I have both the current weather as well as a forecast for the next five days. I have a video about how I've created something similar, but I have slightly redesigned the card since then. Let me know if you want an update. Next, below that I have a row with various chip cards. The most important one is the state of the entrance door. The rest of the chips are hidden to the right. These chips are dynamic and changes depending on various device states. For example, the washing machine shows up here if it's on, and the solar disappear if there's no production. Then I have the main section of my dashboard, all our rooms. These buttons open a pop-up window with controls for that room. I've seen a trend recently where people make this section dynamic based on the room that they currently are in. It's cool, but I don't really want to have ESPs in every room running off mobile chargers. I'm currently working on voice assistants with ESP, so if I get them to a state where I think they are stable enough for us to use on a daily, I will add Bluetooth trackers to them as well. But for now my room section is static. I can however sort these buttons. By default it shows our most common rooms, but I can show all, just the first floor, or just the second floor as well. I don't think I really need to show the content of every room. They all follow the same design layout. I only add devices that are important and aren't automated. Therefore, some rooms have more controls than others. For example, our living room has controls for the media player and TV. I'm still planning to build out the media control cards better, and will probably make a video about that. Below the rooms, we have a small section about garbage collection. This also works as a design element to break up the layout a bit. Clicking on it just opens a pop-up with more detailed information. Lastly, at the bottom of the front page, we have electricity prices for today and tomorrow. Electricity is expensive right now, so it's nice for us to have this easily available. At the bottom, we have a navigation bar that open various pop-up windows. These are controls and information that doesn't really fit inside specific rooms. First is our vacuum cleaner. I've showed in another video how I've set up a script that lets me choose various rooms to clean. Next tab lets me modify certain settings of the vacuum. I can also force it back to base or have it move over to our bin when I need to clean it. On the next tab I just have some stats, and the last tab shows the map. The next pop-up is about electricity. First tab shows various estimated costs for running some of our appliances. These are just guesstimates based on the current electricity price. I also estimate our power bill based on our usage and monthly average price. Next tab is about usage. The usage while recording is quite high because we're charging the car. Here I use the built-in energy cards. I think these are great and they make it easy to browse by day, week, month, and so on. I've done slight modifications to these cards in my theme. Last tab is more detailed information about our solar panels. Again, I use the built-in electricity cards. Next up is the car. I've created a full video about this earlier, but I've simplified heap since then. Reason for that is mostly because the integration with Home Assistant is a bit unstable, and the Hyundai API is slow and quite limited. I'm still able to show some information, mostly about mileage and battery status. Last tab here is about charging, and it's very simple. First, I can set the target charging limit. We don't have a smart car charger, but I've been able to create a basic smart charging function. What it does is to start and stop charging based on the electricity price and our solar production. Next pop-up is about our servers and computers. This is just nerdy information for me and isn't something my girlfriend cares about. I'm planning to add a few more controls here, like restart and shutdown. I'm also moving our media and backup NAS over to a new Unraid computer. So I will completely redo this second tab. If anyone know about a nice way to integrate an Unraid server with Home Assistant, let me know. I'm also running Magic Mirror on a Raspberry Pi, and I've been able to add a few controls for that as well. Last pop-up is various settings. It's mostly about turning on or off automations that runs regularly. I have a video about how I set this up with holiday mode and so on. On the second tab, I can turn off notifications. For example, in the morning, we get a notification about today's estimated solar production. 
This toggles that and other notifications off. And that's it. My full mobile dashboard. It's pretty simple and minimalistic, and I think that's important. I don't want to clog it up with heaps of unnecessary information. About the theme. The theme I have created here is sort of a fork of the fantastic theme called Rounded by Leon. I've changed the colors and a lot of the margins and other code. You install it the same way as any other theme. Just drop the folder from the download into the themes folder. Then reload the themes from the dev menu and select it in your profile. You might have to clear the browser cache for it to work properly. The theme comes with a bunch of variables that you can use in your cards. I recommend using variables because if you do, the dashboard will adapt to light and dark mode. I've created a separate document in the download that lists all these variables. Hope this has been somewhat useful. I've been getting a lot of requests for a video like this. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Again, sorry for being away for so long, but I think it's important to prioritize life and family sometimes too. Thanks for watching, until next time.